Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When the time comes to print content from your OneNote notebooks, you have a couple of different options to perform that task. With a page or page group selected, click the File tab in the ribbon to enter Backstage View. Next, click the Print command from the menu on the left, and then the Print button that appears to the right. That will open up the Print dialog box that we see here. If you're familiar with other Microsoft applications, such as Word and PowerPoint, this dialog box will look very familiar. At the top, you can click to select any of the available printers. You can also click the Preferences button to open the Preferences dialog box for that specific printer. And this dialog box will look different depending on the printer that you choose. But in these dialog boxes, you can change things like the media type and the resolution and so forth by using the various drop downs and text boxes and buttons that are available. Go ahead and click Cancel. Back in the print dialog box here, let's take a look at the page range section here at the bottom. In this section, you can control which pages are printed. You can first of all select All to print all of the pages. Selection, if you want to print only information you have selected on the page. Current page to the right. Or Pages, which allows you to print just certain pages by entering page ranges. Now ranges can be sequential, like 1 to 5, or non-sequential, like 1, 3, and 5 or a combination, like 1 to 3 and 5. You separate sequential page ranges with the hyphen and non-sequential pages with a comma. So if I wanted, for example, to print pages 1 through 3 and 5, it would look like that, 1-3, comma, and then the 5. Now to the right, you enter the desired number of copies to print in that particular text box. So we can change that to however many copies we want to print. If you're printing multiple copies, you can also check to collate the pages as they print using the collate checkbox right here. After making your selections, you just click print to send the pages to your chosen printer. For now, we're going to click Cancel because I want to show you the Print Preview option. Because another method available is using Print Preview, which shows you a preview of what your pages will look like and allows you to make further choices. To use Print Preview, enter Backstage View by clicking the File tab in the ribbon. Select the Print command again, and this time click the Print Preview button and that will launch the Print Preview and Settings dialog box that we see here. Here you'll see a preview of the printed page, and then you'll see some selections to the right. For example, you can use the Print Range drop-down to select to print the current page, the entire page group, which is a page and all of its subpages, or just the current selection by making those choices. Now if you have elected to print an entire page group or section, you can use the navigation buttons at the bottom of the dialog box to go through the different pages in the group or section. You can use the paper size drop down to select a new paper size if you wish. By default, the Scale Content to Paper Width checkbox will be marked right here. And when that's marked, this helps to scale the content of your page so that it will fit into the printable areas of your page. You can also change the orientation of your page by selecting either Portrait or Landscape below that. 
You can also choose what information about the pages and section will be displayed in the footer of the pages using this footer drop-down. Now by default, OneNote will display the name of the section and the page numbering. You can also choose to only print the page numbers, only the section name, or none for no footer at all. When you're ready to print, you click the Print button, which will launch the Print dialog box that we saw at the beginning of the lesson. This time, any changes we made in the previous dialog box will be entered, and we still have access to other available options. At this point, clicking the Print button will send the pages to the selected printer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.